Welcome back guys to another Steam Deck video and in this video we're going to be talking about Steam Deck's new client beta update which includes a lot of really interesting things like the ability to choose your download or install location for games that you download on your Steam Deck and for those of you with a micro SD card like me, a pretty big one, I've got a one terabyte here, it allows me to decide whether I'm going to install a game to the internal SSD or maybe install it to the micro SD card and maybe if you're just a mad person and you have a USB drive up here for games you can maybe choose to install it on a usb drive you know as well so having the option to choose where you install your games to it's the icing on the cake let's get into it anyways guys i'm blaze 2k please like subscribe click the bell icon for more steam deck content every single day let's get into this video though and talk about this new update so thanks again to gaming on linux my favorite place to go for steam deck and linux news gaming news so steam deck beta update now always shows the drive picker when installing games so valve's pushed out another small but very useful update to the steam deck client beta that here's a run over what's changed this time including how you install games the update is available on the beta and preview branches to change you can go into the settings system and steam update channel to switch over if you're not already on the beta channel so here's what's new so general when installing a game um, when installing a game, always show the install location picker if there is more than one library folder and automatically focus the default library folder when the dialog shows up. So like I said, when you're installing a game, if you potentially have a Steam game library on your micro SD card or even a USB drive, it's going to show you the drive options now to where you can install your games to. This is going to make it so much easier. I think you could do it before, but it was a little bit more of a convoluted process. But the fact that it shows up now as it does on like the desktop, steam client um and allow you to have more control over where you install your games to i think this is a big deal especially for people that have external external storage like micro sd card um fixed issue were like i, I can't get over this i'm gonna keep <laughs> this is amazing i love it i just love it's little things like that that valve improves which makes me so happy fixed an issue where steam would be unable to connect in some cases after a suspend or resume resume this has been a massive issue for me a massive issue the Wi-Fi disconnecting and it's driving me nuts. Now on Windows, I was having a really bad issue. I just I've just recently dual booted Windows and Steam OS, and my Wi-Fi was always disconnecting on Windows so bad that like I couldn't play any online games like Modern Warfare 2. Well, apparently I just had to uninstall the baked-in Steam OS or the Steam Deck Wi-Fi driver and just let Windows install its own driver, and that basically if that basically fixed it. But for for Steam OS, it does happen also, and I'm glad they've they're pushing out more fixes. Um, fixed issues where the main window would close and then be reloaded when selecting a friend in a previously or recently played, when selecting a guide in the game's community feed, and when selecting the downloading label on a game's detail page. So they've basically fixed an issue where the main menu main window would close and then be re be reloaded. They've also made some fixes to desktop mode, center the pop up. Center the pop-up controller configurator window when viewing controller layout. Okay. Fix the old version of big picture mode opening when hitting the Steam Guide button on the Steam window. Okay. Interesting. And fix recently played games not showing up in the recent game shelf in the library. Hmm. Okay. So, interesting. Very cool. So, thank you, Gaming on Linux, for that update. So, there we go. I'm really stoked about that because, like I says, I've basically got a one terabyte micro SD in my Steam Deck um, that I'm planning on using for storing my gaming ROMs for emulators like Emulation Station and also, obviously, Steam games. And being able to easily, when I'm downloading the game, decide whether I want to install it onto the internal SSD or whether I want to install it onto the micro SD, I think that's it's only. It's such a time saver, really. So let me know in the comments what you think. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more Steam Deck content every day, stay up to date on all the gaming news with this, regards to the Steam Deck, consoles, gaming, tech in general. Please like and subscribe with the bell icon. Anyways, have a wonderful day. I love you. Enjoy your Wednesday, okay? And um, I'll hopefully see you in another video. And also, I stream on Twitch now every day at 3 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to come see me play maybe Steam Deck or just chill, with me on twitch i stream every day at 3 p.m eastern 2 p.m central and 12 p.m pacific time i believe so yeah come join me there and also come follow me on twitter all the links you need are in the video description and down below in this little handy little social media tag thing so have a great day guys bye i'm blaze the king